Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is our Pylea video. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, so let's talk about the Pylea. Uh, this is one of the most popular plants right now. Um, it's hit the houseplant craze. Everybody was wanting one. Um, of course, I seen a picture of it and I wanted one. So when I walked into a local store called the Potting Shed, I bought a little tiny, tiny one. Um, I'll have to show you in a minute. It's inside. I found a tiny one for $6. $6, no problem. Please take my money. So I bought that one. It's doing great. Wait do you see. I should have brought it out here. I didn't even think um, the difference in that one and these. So there it was in Home Depot with the husband. And we were looking around. I'm like, come on, come on. Let me look at the houseplants. We get over there. And lo and behold, they just got one of those wheelie racks in. I guess that's how they ship them on like shelves with plastic wrap. The wrap was still on the shelf. And they got these house plants in with, with the hanging hooks. I kid you not, two of them on there, ten dollars a piece. Ten look at them. And it's and it's just marked as tropical plant. What? They didn't even know they had a gold mine. So this is what it looked like when I bought it. I mean, obviously it it may have grown a smidge since I bought it, but they had two of them. You think this girl left one behind? Oh, no, 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 no. This girl looked at the husband and said, husband, I need them both. So you say this one looks a little thinner in the middle. You know what I did? I waited about a week after purchasing them, let them sit and absorb and, and you know, learn their new environment in my home. And after I felt like it was OK, I went and took these guys and I took this one here. I let the other one alone. The other one's untouched. This one here, you can actually see there's new babies. This one was full like that one. And I took them out and I repotted them and I got four babies. Now this is the biggest baby, uh, uh, five babies. I got five babies. I got five dirt babies. So I put them with their roots right into the pots. They had enough root. I gave them some soil and a pot. Look at how crazy these things are. This is not a typical like golden pothos looking plant. Uh, they're very cool. They're so neat looking. They're so neat. They have circle leaves. Now the Pilea is called the Pilea peppermoidii. Sorry. Not sure how to say that. Probably the right way. But it's not a peperomium. There is a peperomium that looks very similar that I do not have. That I'm, you know, dying to find. But what I do have, you'll never, you guys, I found this at the grocery store. We have a store by us called Price Chopper. And I got this bad boy for $3. I don't think it says it on there, no. And it just says assorted tropical plants. Can you imagine? Look at, look at the variegation. So this has a nice, really round leaf on it too. So there's a solid green version out there in the world. But this one's the variegated peperomium, yada, 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 something, something. I don't know. Still working on the real names of them. But that bad boy is really cute too. Three dollars. Now, if you really looked in there, there's actually three plants. I bet you could separate them if you wanted to, but it's nice and bushy. So I like the bushy look. All right, so the point of all this, you say, I'm going to show you how to break it up. That's what I'm going to do on film. I saved that for this. I did not do it yet. I did it with this guy, so I knew what I was doing and could show you the pups. Now, the best part of this is I just discovered I wanted to see if I had to water this guy. I went to feel the soil. Let's see if we can get in there. I went to feel the soil. And inside the soil, oh, I don't know if it's going to show really good. Focus. Focus. It's not wanting to. Inside, 
there's a new baby pup already growing. These plants want to live. I found that traveling, I lost three leaves in the car because we had to eat a Chick-fil-A, you know. And I had to drag the two plants into Chick-fil-A with me because <laughs> uh, Joe wanted to eat inside. But anyway, it was hot outside, so I brought them in. But I find that this is, this is very long. There are ones that I've seen that don't really have as long of stems, but it, they were stretching probably for some light. But um, you can break these. I would put that in the delicate status. I wouldn't go flinging this plant around. Um, it's got a succulent feel to it. It's got a little bit tougher. It's not really delicate. But you can break them. You can break them. But the test is, I'm actually, I have one leaf. I didn't bring it out either. I have a leaf in water. It's still green and okay. I don't see any roots on it. But this little guy I broke off as one of the babies. Oh, I think you can see it in this. That's good. Maybe because of the darkness of my shirt. Can you see the little tiny roots in there? It does have little baby roots that are growing. So that's the best part. So four, one, two, three, four, four dirt babies, I call them. I took them off the mother plant. I put them right in the dirt in the pots. That's what we're going to do with that guy right there. And then one water baby just to test it out. Oh, you can see them in there. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let this grow as much rootage as possible and see how, see what I can do. I think I have a really good feeling about this plant. It's not one I've had before. The $6 one I found at the potting shed was my first one that I've ever owned in my life. I seen it in some videos. I seen pictures online. I had to have it. This is the first time I've had this. So I'm by no means an expert at this, but we can grow together with this one. We can really grow together. And this guy has got some new babies growing on it since I plucked out the five other babies. This big mama had five children just when I bought her. For, so for $10, I got six plants. I mean, it's amazing. I've seen other YouTubers out there doing videos, and they were excited to find this plant for $30 at a, at a place. So, I mean, it's not from a regular, like, fancy pants nursery. But this bad boy right here was from Home Depot. I keep wanting to say Lowe's. It was Home Depot. Now, the leaves, you can see, you can see the veining on them so much. I'm going to show you a comparison, uh, comparison to the one that I got at the potting shed. It's a better looking leaf. It's more solid. I don't know if that's just from too much light, not enough light. I've got it in my beautiful bathroom that has a skylight and a window. I'm trying to see if the husband won't let me make it into white. It's got like a green color to it. It's weird. But enough yapping. Let's take this bad boy apart. Okay, so we're back and we're going to take it apart. I love that it just says tropical plant care and everything's just medium light, medium care, medium this. They just gave it some kind of random stuff. So I took off the hook part. It's really dry. Oh, a leaf just fell. A leaf just fell, but don't feel discouraged. You're going to lose some leaves. I actually waited too long and I left it dry. And I really, um, I really probably should have, look at the root ball. It's not a strong, scary root ball. Um, it doesn't have, it's not real, real, real bad. All right. I'm breaking it up. I'm making a mess. Ugh. Oh, I'm ripping off some roots. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I can show you. All right. So I'm trying to film and hold the camera and take apart the plant. But they're all in here. You just want to break it all up. All right. You want to break it apart and find all the little pups that we can. Oh, too hard. I got to concentrate, guys. Let me switch back. All right. I think this is a pretty good view. Don't mind my Fitbit. All right. Now, I've already done this with the other one. I'm not going to be too scared, even though I'm scared out of my mind. All right. Look. This guy. 
Look at this guy. Ugh. I'm gonna pull it. Oh, so the ripping and tearing is the scariest part. Oh, not a lot. We didn't get very many roots with that one. Some, some. Oh, there's some roots. I'm gonna put him right in the dirt. That's a tiny one. Look how cute. Oh, so cute. All right. I'm trying to film so you can see what I'm doing and still be able to not beat up this plant too much. Oh gosh, it really does have babies in there. It really wants, it really wants to be split up here. Okay. What I'm doing is just a gently tearing and pulling at the soil. From everything I've read and seen, it seems like it really is easier if you have dry soil. But I bet it might be easier if you just stuck this in the sink. Just watered it down. Now, the pilea doesn't like to be too wet. I'm saying that about the water. It doesn't like to be too wet. Which is funny since it can grow. Oh, look. Wow. How many things are on there? It doesn't like to be wet. But you can grow it in water for a little while. Ugh. This is a real nightmare. But it wants to live. So we're going to just gently... I'm saying gentle, but I'm tearing. Ooh, got some rootage there. All right, so we got twins. Yay, hi twins. But unfortunately, they are still together. Ooh, they grew so close together. I wonder why. I don't know what the reasoning behind some plants growing little. Look at that. We thought the other one was tiny. Look at that thing. Look at that little baby. It has roots. I don't know. It's got roots coming off of it. It's got some big gross grody thing on there. What is that? That feels like a rock. That feels like plastic or something. Ew. Eh, probably just something in the dirt. I do not know what that is. Gross. Oh my goodness. I hope this one lives just because it's so tiny. I mean, who doesn't love tiny things? That should go in a little fairy garden or something. Big brother. Now this one's got a lot of leaves. This one's got great hopes and dreams of becoming a giant mama of itself. Look at that. So it's kind of crooked, but I would just put it in the soil like this then instead of trying to put it, I don't know. You know what I mean? What do we got? We're up to three kids. Try not to waste too much time doing it. I mean, you got a little time here. You want to take care of it best you can. All right. Oh, the tearing sound tears at my heart. It really does. I can't even. Oh, yeah. See, there's a big chunky. That was probably from the mama. From Big Mama. All right, here's two more. That one's really tiny. I don't know if that one will make it. It's cool looking. It looks like a little tree, right? Ooh, it doesn't feel like it has... Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do with that one is stick it right in the water. Because if it had roots, I tore them all off. I mean, if some of them don't look good, guys, you know, you got a bunch of them, you can throw it away. You can just toss it in the trash. If it hurts your heart to toss it in the trash, <laughs> then put in some water. Put in some soil. Plants want to live. They really, really do. All right, so let's keep going. Ooh. It's harder as it gets closer to the, to the big mom one. That's... um. It's funny that they grow so close to her. I mean, it was a little pot, so it wasn't too much that they could do. Oh, leaf loss, leaf loss. You know, but look how yellow and gross, so I'm not going to put that one in water. That one was ready to go anyway. All right. You're going to lose some leaves in this process. If you're not ready to go through that, don't bother. Because you're going to lose a couple of leaves. It's just the way it goes. So if you get one of these plants, I mean, just be careful and keep it. Oh, gosh. You shouldn't talk about it while you're doing it because then it'll happen. All right. I'm seeing one, two, three. Oh, gosh. This one has a ton of them. I'm, not, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for words. I don't want to wreck anybody. I'm trying. Like I said, gentle pulling, but they're literally just on top of each other in here. All right, so when you go to slide it out from one another, do it really gently. 
because you're going to pull apart some kids if you're not careful. So you save that leaf, I think. Ooh. Oh, and that one's got a baby next to it, too. You know, it's right next to it. Maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I'll leave that one on there. See how tiny it is? It's like it's kid brother. It probably doesn't have any roots of its own. It's probably like that other little guy. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, the tree one. Oh, it's even tinier than that. You know, you think you get one tiny guy and then you get another tiny guy. Sheesh. Set him aside. I, I'm running out of room, guys. All right. I'm really wrecking this poor plant. All right, let me get it all apart and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, so what I've done is stress the crap out of this poor little plant here. Let's see if we can fix this. So I'm mixing up some soil here. Um, because of Harley G, she has her own, um, her own YouTube channel and Instagram, Harley underscore G. Um, she always says, I use black gold. So guess what I found at the store? Some black gold potty mix. Uh, Sun Grow makes it. So this is my first time using it, but she uses it, says it's awesome, so I bet it is awesome. So I've got the all-purpose one. I figured all-purpose. Use it for everything. Um, I'm mixing this in with some extra perlite. I try to mix everything with a little extra perlite lately because it seems like plants don't like to be watered too much. You show them a little too much attention and water them, and then they all freak out. So, oh, let's see the, uh, what looks like a massacre. Well, here's the mother plant. Poor big mama. She should survive. She's got some healthy roots still to her. I beat the shit out of her. Sorry for the, I did not mean to swear. I try to keep it a clean channel, you know. Um, here are her kids. I didn't count them. I should have counted them before I showed you all the kids here. All right, let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put Big Mama back in her pot. It's just the plastic little ugly pot. Ew. <laughs> With heaven knows what in the bottom. Paper or something? Gross got drainage holes which is always a good thing um i'm just gonna put it back in the plant in the plant pot that it came in the plastic pot that it came in for now um until i find something really nice uh, i've been leaning towards uh, a lot of the glossy white pots lately for my living room mm, my house is really almost a country look to it um it's brown on the outside it's all wood wood everywhere my husband loves it loves the country look mom mom loves it um, I am a modern girl. I like Ikea. <laughs> so I like the shiny, glossy, simple look. But, you know, you fall in love and you mend together. So he wins. So mostly everything's country in the house because the house is country. Anyway, until I find a good pot, it's going back into there for now. Although I did find a really cool pot. I'll show you from Walmart. Um, but none of these are going in there. Although it could, it could. I could buy one for it and then just move it gently without stressing it out. So here is my mix of my black gold. That's what they call oil, you know that? Black gold. You make a lot of money on oil. I guess you still could today. I guess that's a money maker. Let's dump some in gently. I'm coating the bottom of it. And then I want to stick it in and then put the rest around it. Because I want to be able to get the roots in there. It has a lot of roots. And then I am going to water it. I don't know if that's a yes or a no thing. I'm going to try and gently spread the roots out to the edges as far as I can. And then uh, let me see if I can get this so you can see it a little better here. Putting it in. I use a spoon as a scoop. Summer Rain did it once. I thought it was hilarious. Because that's what I do. And then uh, Harley G had used the butter knife and didn't even know what she was using. And that was funny too. It was like a decorative butter knife. I watch her channel a lot lately. I think that's probably how I want to be. 
uh, making nice videos and stuff. Oh, it's leaning over. It's a nice light mix, especially when you add the the perlite, the extra perlite to it. Now this is going to give this little plant a lot more room for its own roots, for its own growth, and it's just going to want to make more children, which is fine by me. Hopefully I won't rip it to shreds like I did. I bet if you gave it a pot that was too big, like a little bit too big, it might have a little more room. Maybe the pups will grow a little farther away. The other plant that I took apart, the pups grew farther away. I don't know why. I imagine these were sibling plants next to each other at the whatever nursery it grew at. You know, because it has... Where'd that tag? I threw that tag, didn't I? Ugh. Sometimes the tag will tell you. This says Bloom IQ. Visit Bloom IQ for great garden ideas, information, tips, and help. But I don't know if that's where it grew. Sometimes it's the angel ones, and sometimes it's the other ones. Um, oh, I can't think of them off the top of my head now. But the other plants you buy at Lowe's, Home Depot, and Walmart. Those are the places I go. 90% of the time because those are the three big box stores that I have and I'm not mad about it Um, you know sometimes I find great finds at the grocery store always check your grocery store kids Sometimes they got plants. That's where I got my philodendron Brazil now the potting shed had that But theirs was a bigger hanging plant and that was $20 now sometimes I'm just my $20 plant is my biggest expensive plant right now. And that was, ooh, I do have, and it's my expense. I got it from the potting shed, too. It's um, Monstera. Philodendron Monstera. I think Deliciosa is what it's called. Forgive me if I'm not saying things the right way. I'm working on it, guys. Some of the names of these things are big and scary. Oh, it looks so sad. Looks so sad. There it is, all alone, Big Mama. All on her lonesome here. Now she's got plenty of leaves and plenty of roots. So she'll just fluff up in no time at all. Look little, like, UFOs. I just read online that these plants are fairly new in the houseplant game. They came about in the 1940s when a man who was on missionary uh, over in China found them and then he brought them back to Norway. And because they make the pups, everybody would get a little pup and then their pup would have pups and their pup would have pups. That's generally how you have a pup problem. No, <laughs> that's usually how you have uh, more plants and stuff. I mean, in the dog world, it becomes a problem a lot of times because they don't have homes to go to. That's a different video. Um, but these, so they're also called the friendship plant. That sounds like something we would say in America, the friendship plant. Because just like what I did, this doesn't take long. If you're not filming it, it's going to take you 20 minutes. Tear it apart, pot it up, and then the babies that you pot up, you can totally give those to friends and family. My mom is definitely getting one of these. She might get one of the other ones that I already made. Um, and friends and stuff. If you do this around Christmas time, if you happen to have one, or wait till Christmas to share them, everybody you know will have a plant from your plant. I mean, and how cool is that? If everybody had a plant from your plant, that would be really neat. I'm still putting the soil in here. I know I don't have it angled so you can see it anymore. I'm going to pot these guys up and grab some kind of water. I think a lot of them are going to have to go in a bowl. And I'm going to have to wait for roots to grow. Uh, I was not expecting that because I only had one from the other plant have to do that. But if it comes out and it only has stem and there's no roots, I don't know how well it will do if you just stick it right in the soil. We could try one. If I have multiple ones, maybe that's what I'll do. We'll do an experiment because they're plants and we have plenty of them. I, I have plenty of this one, which is really funny since I wanted it so badly. And then I just found two of them like that. And they had so many pups on them. So it's exciting that I do have multiple ones. So let me figure out what I'm doing with these and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so at the end of the day, we made a great big mess. Good thing my husband doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> at the end, I got uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, five dirt babies. That's what we're going to call them. Uh, and I think three water babies. And then our mystery to see if we can get them to grow. So these guys were so little. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Doesn't want to. There it goes. Um, these are three little ones that have no roots really. So I put a lot of water in there. Tiny, tiny little container uh, that I use. You never know what you're going to use those darn containers for. And then they come in handy for plants. And then I had one of those uh, water vessels that you actually put a bulb in. But today we're going to put pileas in. I've got at least three, I think, in there. So we're going to let them see if they grow some roots in there. Because the stem that I took off didn't have really anything on it. So, And the one is really big. I think that was the biggest one I took off. And it has no roots to it because it's growing so close to the mother plant. Ugh. I guess it was kind of probably part of the mother plant. I'm not sure. Big mama's on the floor there. She might have been a little droopy because she was super dry. I did this all when she was super dry. So, hopefully everybody comes back, snaps in. Okay. And we'll see if these guys will grow for me. It's kind of an experiment, you know. They're so tiny. They're so tiny. This one looks like a little jade tree almost. Funny. And they're so little that I really just didn't have any pots right now. They make little tiny terracotta pots and that would have been perfect for them. However, I couldn't really count and see what was in that plant. And I want to make sure they live first. Is that bad? I don't want to have a million little pots I can't do anything with. Like I said, this is my first hand at these plants. So far, so good. Everybody, I mean, they want to live. They really enjoy life. And they're super cool. Now I feel like the baby leaves look better than the big mama leaf. And we'll compare that one that I got at the potting shed. Oh, FYI, when you're um, potting up plants and doing this, maybe do it outside or somewhere mom and dad or husband and wife won't see or know. Because it makes a hot mess. Oh, there's one little cool pot I did have. So I'm going to get yelled at by the houseplant community, but they don't have drainage holes. Just be careful. Don't water it too much. You know? The plastic ones, you can see right through. You can see how much water's in it. Squish the top of the soil, turn it to the side, let it leak out. But this is a really cute little pot. I hope it fills it up with beautiful roots, beautiful leaves, all that good stuff. So here is the other one. This one I bought at the potting shed all by itself, $6. All by itself. It almost has more of a drop to it actually these are not perfectly round but this is supposed to be the same plant now I'll cry if I actually have you know what no you know what it grows the same I think the I think the um pep pilea pepperonii pepperoni whatever it's called I'm nearly certain that it's the same because it has the same growing and it's got a pup I think the other one grows differently. Definitely got to research more. But this one's got its own little, looks like a pup coming in. Or a leaf that's just coming off. It almost looks like plastic there, huh? I've had this one growing in my fish tank. Not in the water. Um, just for humidity's sake. In the glass with the lights on it. And it's come out darker shinier oh yeah look at these guys all right look at the difference in the leaves look how round that one is get to focus on there that one's so round this one has really pointy although the baby has a round leaf i don't know i guess they could have different shapes look at that one. looks like a little pac-man looks like a little face chomp, 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 chomp. anyway six dollars for that little guy which I would do again and again. Uh, it's just so stinking cute. I was afraid to kill it. 
I wanted one so badly. Finally, I went to the store a couple of times looking at it, looking at it. Look from the light. It's a little lighter there. Look at the dirt under my fingernails. Jeez. Um, but then I finally did buy it, and I love it, and I put it in there so it would grow well with lots of light. The light seems to be a big help. If you don't have good light, it's a hard time for houseplants. Get yourself some golden pothos. Call it a day. And the ZZ plant, I heard, is super easy uh, care and lower light. Hoping to get one of those for my birthday. Anywho, that's all I've got for today. Let's flip it around. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, Pilea pepperoni. Pep ah, you know I'm just going to stop trying to say it. It's right there in my mind. I know how to say it, I just can't say it. Like Aglionema. Try to say Christina Aguilera, then try to say Christina Aguilera. You can't do it. Aglionema. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. I don't know. I think it's a funny thing. I tell my husband that all the time. He doesn't think it's that funny. Um, this bad boy is so cute. He's got a little brown spot under there. Huh. It's clean and good though. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to keep you up to date on how everything's going, how everybody's growing. And we'll come back with an update. See how big they can grow in what? Maybe a month, two months? See how they can grow. Um, until then, we're going to do some other videos, fun things, potting up some stuff, telling some stories. Uh, the new fun thing on YouTube is mukbang. I don't know. People eat stuff. I guess they talk and eat stuff or chit chat. I don't, I'm not sure really yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'll eat some pizza and pot up some plants. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, until then, I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, that's it. Stay good. Stay clean. Grow some plants. Have a good one. <laughs> Have a blessed day, guys.